One question that we were repeatedly asked when we rolled out Arrow Checkout's deep integration with Elementor, it was this. When will I be able to customize my WooCommerce checkout page using Divi? Well, so what's up Divi Nation? This is the time. This is your time. And now you will be able to customize your WooCommerce checkout page using your favorite page builder, Divi. Hi, I'm Taveen at WooFunnels and I'm stoked to announce that Divi now deeply integrates with Arrow Checkout. So as a part of this integration, what you get are two things. Number one, pre-made custom checkout page layouts or templates. All of these checkout page templates are thoughtfully divided into one step, two step and three step formats. So you can choose the format that you like, pick a template of your liking, import it with a single click, customize it inside of Divi and go with it. These templates are designed for different needs. For example, you may want to create a global checkout or a one page checkout or a checkout page for a funnel or a Shopify style checkout. Well, you can do all of that by picking the right template. A part of the pack are two highly customizable Divi modules. Just drag them and drop them on your page. They allow you to build your checkout page from scratch. You can define the margin, the padding, uh, well, you can define border radius, border width, the color, and so much more. So there is an array of design options available at your disposal. The checkout form module allows you to enable steps at the top in case you're using a multi-step WooCommerce checkout page. You can adjust the form field width, you can customize the call to action button, change the colors and do so much more. Apart from that, there is the mini card Divi module. This module allows you to append a mini card on your checkout page. You can enable or disable the images that show with along with every item that they are buying. You can also enable the delete option, allowing users to delete an item on the checkout page without having to go back to the cart page. There's so much exciting stuff packed into this content that I just cannot wait to get started. So slam that subscribe button, leave a comment and tell us what you think about Divi and Arrow Checkout's deep integration. Now let's get started. All right, so we're in the design tab now and this is where you're going to see the new addition. So in the design tab, tab right next to customizer elementor you've got divi tab which is where you're going to find all the pre-built templates that we have for you and these templates are built right inside divi all you have to do is import them with a single click make a few customizations inside of divi and you're ready to go live okay so i'm going to show you some of the templates that are there at your disposal so before i import a template you should know that you can import a template in one step two step or three step format so based on how you want your woocommerce checkout page to be in what format you can choose a template that you like so let's let, let me show you some templates in action so let's go with the minimalist template which is my absolute favorite so here you go. Uh, again, this is uh, built in Divi. Uh, you've got the checkout form on the left hand side where users can fill out their details. On the right hand side, you have the cart section, which is where they can adjust the item quantity. You've got the item uh, quantity bubble right here. Add a coupon code if they have, see or their subtotal, their shipping charges and their total and so on. And of course, you can have some bullets here to make them shop with confidence. Now, since I imported a two-step checkout template here, I have the option to proceed to uh, the next step and fill out my remaining details on the next step. Further, you can view this template in various modes. Yes, so that's the mobile mode. Uh, you have the collapsible order summary right here. And well, this is how it looks on mobile. Pretty neat. So this template is ideal if you want to replace your default or your native WooCommerce checkout page with something that looks clean and rather compelling. The next template that I would love to show you is the Razor template. 
Now, Razer template is absolutely beautiful. It looks neat and clean. It puts everything for the user in the center. So you've got a two-step checkout form right here. Fill out your basic details in the first step, followed by the payment details, and that's proceed to next step. So it puts the guarantee right at the center. Uh, you know kind of expands it and of course testimonials also take up good space and they are also uh, uh, really i mean uh, they're presented pretty well so that's what you have just swap your logo if you want change some colors here and there change a bit of margin padding as per your needs and you are good to go and i'm going to go into divi and in divi let's import a template so which one would you like me to import mm. All right, let's go with the minimalist, which happens to be my favorite. And it uses two of our Divi modules that we've specially created for Divi to help you customize your WooCommerce checkout page. So it's a one-click import. Let's hit import. And yeah, there we go. All right. So this has been imported. It's the one-step uh, checkout template. And let's just go and edit it. All right, so now we're behind the scenes and I'm going to show you how to customize your WooCommerce checkout page using the Divi Builder. So Divi Nation, I'm sure you're familiar with all of this right here, but I'm going to show you what is exactly the checkout form module built by Arrow for Divi lovers, for Divi users. So this is the checkout form module. These are all the settings that you have. Uh, first up, you have the header section. If you want to sort of enable steps, if you want to show, uh, you know, how many steps before your checkout page process is over. So if you want to show the steps bar here, you can enable it from here. You can also choose uh, uh, desktop tablet phone here if you want to enable the steps bar for a particular device. Further, you've got your information section. So in your information, your shipping address, you have the option to adjust the form field width without writing a line of code. So you, if you are removing a field or uh, uh, adding a field, and if you'd like to adjust the existing form field width, it's not an issue. Just select the right form field width from the drop down, and there you go. That's how it will change. Now, after that, you have the your shipping address section underneath which you have shipping address and billing address. Again, you can change the form field width for each of the fields. Now, this is the payment section right here. That's payment gateways. If you want to change the heading here, well, go ahead and do it. You can make the change here and it will reflect right away on the left hand side. Now here you can add any subheading as needed. This is your place order now button. So you can change the text if you need to. And of course, this is the sub CTA or the, the, the line beneath the CTA, which again encourages them to click on the call to action button. Now, if you want to change colors, you obviously have to head over to the design tab and you have all the options here to change the font size so you can increase the font size of the heading like that using this uh, beautiful slider you can change the font from here um, uh, to to the one that you like uh, or you can set it back to the default uh, that we're using here font weight style all of these can be changed from here that's for the alignment well of course that looks a little funny so i'm going to go with the left aligned this is where you change the font size from and so on now if you want to change the color of the button here well what you're going to do is you're going to go into buttons and here you have the option to change the width the alignment and so on and of course from here you can change the color so let's say you want to make it green or you want to make it red you can always do that right uh, so set the margin padding so if you have to do if you have to change anything related to design this is where you're going to go and you will find all the options underneath uh, the design tab of divi and you can choose anything to customize it to your liking now, apart from that, what you can also do is enable collapsible order summary. So when you say yes, then an, a collapsible order summary will show up here. And only when someone taps on it, will the order summary show up. Otherwise, it won't. You can also decide to disable it from the desktop, but enable it only on the phone. Yes, so that's an option there as well. This will allow you to uh, sort of 
uh, save or conserve the screen space, the available screen space on a mobile device. Now, once you're done uh, playing or customizing the checkout form, well, let's go over to the cart module. So this is the mini cart. Again, you have header, product, your information, admin label, and so on. So in header, you, you can modify this heading here. So it says your cart. Uh, you could say your cart items and so on. So it will uh, sort of just make the edit as you go. This is where you can enable or disable the image. So this image that shows here, the quantity switcher that shows here, allow deletion. If you do not want to allow deletion, just go and toggle this button. This is again for coupon code. This is right now in a collapsed state. It's a collapsible coupon box. If you want, you can disable it and uh, that's it. The coupon box will go away. If you want to not make it collapsible, that's fine. Just hit the toggle and that's how it'll appear. It's not collapsible anymore. And again, if you want to uh, sort of change any of the colors, like this color of the button here or any other, the grays and the whites, then go into the design tab. And of course, you can change all of this from here. So this is where you change your font sizes from, the style, spacing, alignment, and so on. Very similar to the checkout form module settings. And again, you have similarly all the options for the cart where you can make all the changes. This is your coupon section and uh, well this is also where you have uh, this is the focus color so when you go here uh, to enter it turns blue so that's the focus color so now underneath uh, now underneath coupon you have the option to change the button color from here so right now it's blue you can change it to whatever else that you like so this is how it will change, change the font size if you need to and so on. So all with really simple, uh, you know, a few changes, no lines of code, nothing of that sort to be written. Just use these dedicated modules, Divi modules, which have been designed, which have been built to help you customize your WooCommerce checkout page. Even if you don't know coding, even if you don't want to use short codes, even if you do not have any basic design sense, no issues. Just go ahead and use these modules and you are good to go. After design, we have the products tab. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of this. In the products tab, of course, you can add a product. So this is what you can do. Let's just add a dummy product. Yep, there you go. So just add, add any product. You can add multiple products if you like. There you go. And of course, you can dra use the drag and drop functionality to arrange, to rearrange the products and show them in a specific order. Apart from that, you can set the discount here, the quantity here, and so much more. You can also delete an item if you want. Just press the delete button. And there you go. After you're done, after you've added a product, you can save changes. Now, keep in mind that you would only need to add a product if you're creating a product specific checkout page. In case you're creating a global checkout page, there is really no need to add a product. Now, we're going to go into the fields tab. Now, this is Arrow's extensive form builder. So we've given you all the options that you need to create your checkout form, your WooCommerce checkout form and make it look just the way you want. So if you're selling digital products, don't want to don't want the shipping method and shipping address and so on. That's perfectly all right. You can just hit the cross button here and it will go away. Want it? You can drag and drop from here and place it anywhere you like. As you can see that here's a simple drag and drop option. So you can arrange your WooCommerce checkout form fields and show them in the order that you want. Apart from that, there are sections here. So all the fields are really well organized into sections and you can use drag and drop to rearrange the sections, right? So if you're creating a two-step checkout form, that's all right too. Uh, you know, you can add the uh, the steps, you can add the, uh, the fields in the next step from here. And there you go. Again, we have drag and drop you can add a new field if you like so you've got a bunch of options to choose from to add a new field and after that i want to take you to the optimizations tab now in the optimizations tab you have a 
quite a few options at your disposal to optimize your checkout page for more conversions. Who doesn't want more sales? Well, so this is where you can make those optimizations to make your WooCommerce checkout page convert even higher. So you can turn on Google address auto complete, auto apply coupon codes, use smart buttons for express checkout, uh, such as smart buttons by uh, Amazon Pay, Google Pay, Apple Pay, PayPal Express and others. You can enable multi-step field preview and so many more options. Now I have a dedicated video where I go into 21 optimization hacks for your WooCommerce checkout page. I've linked it up here or up here somewhere and also down below in the description box. Go and watch it after you're done watching with this one. So we looked at how you can use the pre-built checkout page templates to create your checkout pages without wasting any time and even if you have no design sense whatsoever. We also saw how you can use the highly customizable Divi modules to build your checkout page from scratch and make it look exactly how you want. Now. You know, there are a lot of other options out there which need you to use shortcodes, but as you saw that you need none of that. It's really simple that probably your 10 year old kid can master as well. So do leave a comment and tell me more about what was your favorite part of this video. I'd be looking forward to hearing for you, from you. Thank you so much for watching. To know more about Arrow Checkout, uh, well, head over to buildwhofunnels.com. There are links in the description box below. That's it. I'm Tavleen and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.